not exposed. I keep it inside and I laugh on my own. Got all the tea and I'm hotting it up. I need a shade mansion, a room's not enough. You're dropping some shit, but that shit was a bust. They got no What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Rose's World. All right, today we're gonna be talking about one of a new fragrance that I just picked up recently. The fragrance that this one is, is not really up my alley, um, mainly because of some of the notes that they use inside of the fragrance. But today what we're gonna be talking about is, boom, Aqua Jojo Profumo. I actually really like this one. I think they did a really good job. Um, I haven't actually opened it yet. So well, that's what I'm gonna do with you guys right now. So we're gonna just check it out. All right, I bought this a couple of weeks ago at Macy's. Uh, the price point for this one was probably somewhere around about $90 after you know all of the tax and everything. Uh, it wasn't too bad, you know. But all in all, uh, $90 you can probably get this somewhere cheaper by like Amazon, um, somewhere online, right? Anyway, back to the point. So this is the box, right? It's a nice box. You know, nothing too crazy. Black, silver letters. It's all right, I like it. Simple, all right? Simple guy likes simple things. So open it up. This one came out in 2015. Just getting around to it now. Um, as I was saying earlier, I'm not too much a fan of these type of fragrances because this is an aquatic fragrance. Now, they did this one right. This one, as compared to other fragrances, is not as loud in terms of the marine note. This one is a little bit softer. It's, it's tolerable. I like it. All right, so let's take a couple sprays here, all right? Ah, there we go. So it's not as loud. It's very wearable. You can wear this to the office. You can wear this on a date. You can wear this um, just going out, just hanging out. It's a little bit of a stronger fragrance. It is an EDP, so I would be very careful on how much you actually spray, or you'll just suffocate yourself and the person that's next to you, anybody in the car. All right, just be careful with how much you're actually spraying. When you do spray your colognes, you also don't want to mix them. So as you notice, I sprayed it on once. You're also going to want to spray it on the other wrist. You don't want to mix. It changes the chemistry of the fragrance, right? I usually use a spray on the neck, on the wrist, all right? And sometimes I'll spray it on my shirt. I won't tell you to do that. That's going to be your call because I know that some fragrances can stain your clothes. I prefer to do it as it lasts really well on my clothes. And I actually have been lucky to not have anything stained. So, so far, so good. This one has a magnetic top. So when you drop it back on, boom doesn't fall off uh, the bottle is really good it's nice and basic you know I, I really do like it it has bergamot in the opening can smell the aquatic note in it this is a staple in a lot of people's inventory so um, you're gonna probably see this around a lot all in all I think it's dope if you haven't gotten your nose on it if you haven't checked it out I will go ahead and do so. This is not going to be like a like a paid review or anything like that. This is just strictly fragrances that I like. I'll really tell you whether I like it or not. Sometimes I do some blind buys. So this I actually picked up, like I said, at a Macy's. So I really enjoyed this. I was looking for a fragrance to buy, looking for a reason to waste some money. And I did just that. So um, I'm gonna be using this for probably the rest of the summer, um, a little bit into the fall. And then it's time to move on to uh, other shit. <clears throat> move on to other things. So, um, good talking to you guys. Thank you for tuning in. All right, and I'll see you guys next time.